Hello everyone. Welcome. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. Uh, make sure you say hello when you come in. I always love to say hi to everybody. All right. I think we are good. So today we're going to do an ink project and the transfer is called Modern XOXO. So we're going to actually make a pillow cover and the colors that I'm using are Candy Apple Red and Marvelous. And we're also using some placement tape because I want to mark off some sections on here that I want to do in a different color. So I'm just taking little pieces of placement tape and covering up just four of the letters. So XOXO is going to be covered up and we're going to do that in Candy Apple Red. So we'll just get this done and then we'll put the um, ink mat inside and I believe the ink mats are coming back in stock next week so if anybody's been waiting for those I believe it's next week I'll have to double check on the date um, usually our product releases restocks are done on Thursdays So I will post that. This is a cute little project. You could just do some of the letters. If you wanted to do a t-shirt or a smaller pillow, you can totally do that. And I think that is the last letter we're going to do. And I don't have to worry about doing the inside here because I know I'm not going to come down and ink in there. So we'll just cover that up. And we're going to use the small squeegee and a mini squeegee for this project. Okay, so I've got my black pillowcase here. And I get my pillowcases at Ikea. Uh, they're very affordable. Oh my goodness. That is super sticky. And that's not going to stay. So I'm going to take my ink mat and I'm going to fold it like a taco and just put it inside the pillowcase. And then I'm going to smooth out my fabric and it's going to stick to the ink mat. Get that nice and smooth. You don't want any wrinkles in it because that'll affect your design. <coughs> Excuse me. So just make sure it's nice and smooth. Oh, there's my comments. I didn't see them. Hey, Joey and Carrie and Anita and Lynn. Hey, Marlo. Welcome. I was not seeing comments for a second. My technology stuff is really acting up. My mom and dad tried to FaceTime me. My camera wasn't working. I had to restart my phone. All right, so now I'm going to peel this off the backer sheet. And I'm actually going to flip it over and then peel the backer sheet off because it's easier. It's such a big transfer. If you do it the other way, you run the risk of it folding up into itself. So just flip it over if it's a big one. And now we're going to lay it down and I want to center it. That looks good. 
And now I'm going to press down. And you'll notice that I didn't fuzz this transfer. Because I'm doing it on fabric, I want it to be super sticky. So just run your hands across, making sure that everything is stuck down on the fabric, that you don't have any air bubbles. And I think that's good. So this whole section we're going to do in Marvelous. And then we're going to do the XOXO in the center here in the um, Candy Apple Red. Yeah, what's going on with that, Marlo? Is I don't know. My phone's been doing that a while. I have to restart my phone. Hey, Shannon. Oh, you know what, Marlo? The first time I inked something, it was a hot mess. And it was a graduation present for my daughter. I ended up, I think I kept it somewhere just as a reminder of what not to do. As long as you just go slow from the beginning, it's, I love doing ink now. Hey, Sue. I love ink. I love the fact that I can customize pillows or aprons, um, t-shirts. I've done a jean jacket. I've done jeans. Hey, Marie. I just love the versatility of the ink. So I'm going to start here in the center and work my way up. And I like starting in the center in case I've missed an air bubble. Then I'm kind of pushing up that way. Now this one is going to take a little bit of ink, I believe. And I want to load it on because it's a black pillow cover. And I want to make sure that it gets covered really well. Just go slow, Sue. Just go slow. And the great thing about working with ink is that you have a lot longer working time because the ink takes longer to dry. So it's not like when you use chalk and you have to, you know, bring the transfer up right away. You have a lot more forgiveness. I know, Marie, you... You are just rocking the ink. Get some more ink here. Now, even though I'm using, it looks like I'm using a lot of ink, I'm really not. It does go a long way. The other thing, uh, when doing ink is make sure just like when you're doing chalk that you keep your squeegee at a 90 degree angle you can put it down just to get the ink off but just hold it at a 90 degree angle you don't have to put a lot of pressure on it's so much fun and it's so rewarding when you see your project done. I love it. Now I'm going to be using my heat press um, to set this. Because I can do it in one shot on the heat press. But if you don't have any, you know, fancy equipment, just use your household iron. So once this is dry, um, you would use your iron at whatever setting the fabric is, put a piece of parchment paper down over top, and then heat set it for about four minutes on each side if you're using an iron. If you're using an easy Cricut Easy Press, um, 30 seconds at about 330 degrees, flip it inside out, and then do the same thing again for 30 seconds. So it doesn't really take that long, even with an iron. 
just about or a little over halfway. So while I'm doing this, I wanted to talk about Club Couture. It is our monthly subscription. It's $19.99 US or $26.99 Canadian plus tax. You get free shipping. And you get an eight and a half by 11 transfer and three coordinating chalk paste singles every month delivered to your door. This month, we have some awesome specials. You can get up to three transfers for free from our Creative Kickstart and also a reclaimed surface if you spend $200 before tax. And let me tell you, some of those surfaces they have, they're pretty awesome. One of them is a diagonal palette. Uh, another one is a burlap board and it's an 18 by 24 inch surface. And you get that for free if you spend $200. So if you want um, more information about that, comment club and I'll get you all that, all the details. The other thing that we're doing this week is Friday, I'm going to have some mystery bundles for sale in the VIP group. So if you're not a member of the VIP group and you'd like to get in there, comment VIP and I'll get you the link for that. I'm going to have to order another Marvelous. Oh, Marlo, yes. Because you're a designer, you pay $19.99 a month for your designership. And you get the club transfer as part of that. You don't get chalk paste singles with it unless you sign up as a club member on your own site, which you can do with a separate email address. And that um, special is only for customers, not for designers. We're just about there. I think I might just have enough to finish this off. You're welcome. You are most welcome. See what I did there? I'd started going this way and then I just went up and I just saw that I created an air bubble. So go the same direction. Once you start in one direction, go the same way. Now I'm just going to make sure that I get all the excess off. I think that looks good. I don't see any spots that I've missed. And now I'm going to peel the placement tape off so that we can do this in the candy apple red. So I'm just going to pull the tape off. Now if these had been done in like a longer strip I can save it but because I chop them into little pieces. I'm just going to throw it out, but it is reusable. Get rid of all that. There we go. So now I'm going to do the center in candy apple red. And I'm going to use the mini squeegee just so that I have more control because I don't want to get it up into the area that I've already inked. So just take it slow. Don't let the ink scare you. Um, 
one of the best pieces of advice I could give you is if you have some scrap material, practice doing the ink on there until you feel comfortable enough to tackle a project. Drop cloths are really good for that. I got a pack of drop cloth, cloth um, like little towels at Home Depot. And those are awesome for practicing on. We are almost there. Go slow as you get close to another letter. All right, now we just got the O left. on the edge there. I think we're done. Scrape the excess off and you can put it right back in the jar. It is reusable. And the other reason why you want to scrape off the excess is because if you have a line there, it'll actually show up through. So just go over it and make sure you don't have any lines. And now we're going to peel this off. So when you're pulling your transfer off, um, when you're using ink, go a little bit slower because the ink is still wet and you don't want it to splash. So I'm just going to start at the top. I'm going to lift it. The other benefit of going slow is if you have missed a spot, you can just put your transfer right back down. This is looking good. There we go. And then I'm just going to put that over on the backer sheet. Now I'm going to peel this up. Then I'm going to hit it with the dryer just to dry it quicker. The other option is just to leave it overnight and let the ink dry on its own. Again, I'm folding my ink mat on the inside just to make it easier to pull it out. Let's grab this and just dry it really quickly. Do you guys have any questions? Yes, mysteries are always good, Anita. And it could include embellishments, could be anything, anything at all. Now, if you're watching this and wondering if it's something that you could do, you absolutely could. You can purchase the designer kit for $99 US or $135 Canadian. And the Canadian equivalent, you would get about $350 worth of product. So if that's something that you would be interested in, let me know. Uh, just comment team below. The best part about this is you buy all of your products at 40% off. You also get a 25% commission if anybody purchases from your website. So it's a pretty awesome deal, I tell you. I signed up when we first launched in Canada, so May 6th of last year, or of 2019. 2018. Oh my goodness, it's been almost two years. And originally it was just for as do as a hobby, but I'm working it more like a business now. I absolutely love it. And it's helped me create this beautiful craft room. 
which I don't think I could have done without Chalk Couture. This weekend is leadership in Savannah, Georgia, and I was supposed to be going. I'm so sad. So sad. But the borders are closed and not something you want to take a chance with, right? So I'm hoping for our convention that our borders are open because this year we're going to Nashville. That is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, I think it's almost dry. But like I said, I'm going to use my big heat press and it's over on the floor because hubby is still going to build me a nice big butcher block um, island, I guess you could say, to place it on because it's heavy. So I'm just going to clean my squeegees and I'm just using Lysol wipes, but you could use water. And put those aside, then we'll put the lids on the ink. And then clean the transfer. And I'm just going to clean the transfer the same way I would when I do chalk paste projects. I'm going to lay it down on here. And I'll probably put a little bit of water on it first. Just to get it going. So we'll give it a spritz. And then I'm actually going to use a squeegee and go across the transfer with it. And that'll scrape all the excess ink off to the side. And it makes it much easier to clean it. Just put the lids on these. So I'm using my squeegee. And do you see how that's kind of just all pooling over to one side? It works great when you're doing a large transfer like this. Just get all of that over there. And you could do it a couple of times and get most of the ink off. Now the red uh, probably won't come off because it's such a dark pigment, but it doesn't affect um, the use of your transfer. It still works just as good as long as you clean that silk screen area. There we go. Get that nice and clean. And I'll go over it one more time with the water. I just love our spray mister. Love, love, love it. See how clean that's getting? It's getting most of that ink off here. It's actually getting a lot of the red too. Pretty awesome. Use this paper towel. Get that dried off. This is the messiest part of the whole thing, is just cleaning up after yourself. But it truly does not take long. And this craft mat is great because the transfer won't stick to it. Oh, look at that. I got most of the red off. One more wipe on the front and then we're going to flip it over and get the back clean. And when I clean the back, I'm getting that lint from the pillow cover 
off and it'll reactivate the stickiness of the transfer. Let's get all this cleaned up. Put it down. And just use the Lysol wipe on this. Hey, Deborah. Welcome. Whoops. That moved on me. You see how nice and clean it is? And then it's ready to go. I'm just gonna let it air dry. Then I'll put it back onto the backer sheet and it's ready to use the next time I wanna make something with it. And you can just use pieces from here. You don't have to use the whole thing. So if you were doing like a bolster pillow or something, you could just use part of the transfer. And that's it. We are cleaned up. All right. I will let you guys go. Tomorrow, what have I got on the plans for tomorrow? We're going to do a Valentine's gnome tomorrow because you guys know how much I love gnomes. So I'm thinking I'll do a smaller version for the tiered tray. And that'll look super cute. Oh, you're welcome, Deborah. Thank you for coming. I think that's going to look super cute. And I have to try and find... I kind of want to do it in pink, but we might have to do it in red. Because I don't know if I have any pink material. So that'll be fun. Awesome. You guys have a fabulous evening, and I will see you tomorrow afternoon. All right. Bye for now. Be safe.